Hey, what's up, guys? It is me, Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome back to my Pokemon Blue Walkthrough. Now, in the last part, I went inside the Pokemon Tower, and uh, I got kind of lost. Well, I didn't get lost, I just wasn't. I kind of forgot where you had to get the Silph Scope to. Well, turns out, um, I was actually right. I, I stopped the video, and I, ser I, I searched it up. And it said that it, that you had to go in, into Celadon City to get the cell scope. And I'm like, that's I, 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 like I'm like that's not right. Like, come on. Um, but it turns out it actually is. Um, it it, it actually is located in in Celadon City. So we are actually going to leave Lavender Town after being in it for a part or two. I kind of forget. Um, but yeah, we're gonna leave Lavender Town and make our way to Celadon City. So yeah. Um. And let me see. Um, yeah, we're gonna get work. Actually, we'll get Golbat. Yeah. Um. Also, in this part, guys, I want to tell you guys something. Uh, I want to tell you guys something pretty, pretty awesome. I in this part, I'm gonna be getting my fifth team member. Yeah, that's right. Um, my fifth team member. Um. So yeah, you guys probably, you guys can probably guess what it is, but I'm not gonna say just in case. Uh, just in case you guys, just in case some somebody who's watching my video, uh hasn't actually played Pokemon Blue or beaten it or whatever. Anyways, bite, I'm gonna speed this up. There we go. There we go. Down the Clefairy. I, I I just call it Clefairy. Anyways, um I actually got, got a I actually caught myself a Clefairy in in my actual Pokemon Blue. Which I actually I beat that last night. Or not 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 last night. Two nights ago, sorry. On Sunday night I beat it. Um and I had a bunch of level forties and I beat the Pokemon League no problem. Uh, that was yeah, it wasn't really hard at all. So I think I'm good. I don't think I'm gonna have much much trouble with the Pokemon League in my walkthrough. If you guys know what I mean. Anyways, bites, Vulpix. Uh, I'm gonna keep using Golbat until I get get him up to level thir thirty one. So battle this guy. You need strategy to win at at this. I'm sure I do. You little whatever the crap you are. Anyways, all right. It is. Super nerd. He has three Pokemon, and his first one's a Grimer. So, of course, I get the critical hit after. Like, I get the critical hit on the second on the second attack. Like, oh, there we go. Good. I I needed that one. All right, and one more, and another critical hit. I don't know. Golbat's going crazy with the cr critical hits. I'm sorry. I'm digesting food. I just ate like one. Like, I I I just I ate a slice of bread. Like, I just stuck the whole thing in my mouth, and then I was, like, choking. <laughs> I was literally choking. Anyways, uh, I don't know why I stayed in. And another two... I, how many critical hits? That's, like, five crit critical hits this battle. I don't know. That's crazy. That's a lot of critical hits. I'm not like, I've ever gotten so many in one battle. That was actually kind of lucky. That, that was awesome. That was pretty cool. All right. Now, um, War Turtle, you're going to go in the front of my party. And and the, um, the fourth gym, which I'm going to make my way to, I'm... Probably gonna take on the fourth gym in the next part. Um, the fourth gym actually has um, the fourth gym has uh, grass type Pokemon. So how am I poisoned? That's not fair. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So my uh, my war turtle's poisoned. Anyways, another critical hit. I I'm getting really. I'm kind of con getting concerned. Why I keep getting so many critical hits? Anyways, Nid Arena is the first time I've seen one of those. But uh, anywho, yeah. The as I was saying, the uh, the fourth gym. Uh, the gym in Celadon City is actually a uh, grass type gym, so War Turtle is gonna pretty, is gonna suck quite a bit. Um, it's all Dug Trio, so I might use Dug Trio and War Turtle quite a bit in this part. I'll just destroy these meowths. There we go, and I will. Um, holy crap, you got a lot of Pidgeys. All right, um, I'll take the, I'll take down her entire team with just bite. No, I'm not supposed to go. Uh, meowth and Pikachu. You have. Wow, you have five different Pokemon. That's kind of kind of interesting. At least you're not like one of these trainers that have like five Pidgeys on their team. Anyways, 967. So I'm actually gonna go over to Doug Trio over here. Um, War Turtle is three levels away from evolution, and then once I get him, once I evolve uh, War Turtle, then that means I I have permission to evolve my Nidorino because I'm waiting to evolve my War Turtle before I evolve Nidorino. Anyways, um, so yeah, my War Turtle is kind of my war turtle is kind of dying because of the poison, and this guy says, "Let's roll the dice." That's great. I don't know what you mean by that, but anywho, uh, I'm kind of um, I'm kind of playing playing with fire because I'm 
this this guy's got poly whirls and poly you know poly wags and I got a duck trio so I was kind of playing playing with fire that battle but anyways this is a healing house no it's not what is this house oh it's it leads to Celadon she said I don't know what she said anyways another trainer holy crap goodbye all right dig and now that they think it's not yet level 33 cool and I'll take out these coughings and all these stupid things and done all right. Now, um, I'm gonna get war I'm gonna put War Turtle up there, and I'm gonna heal him, even though he's poisoned. Um, I'll use a Super Potion. I have 13 of them left. Okay. Um, okay, let's just speed through this. Okay, and I'm gonna use a potion. Uh, I have 21 potions. 21. I think I better use them. Yeah, I'm gonna use them when I have the chance. Anyways, um, uh, wait a second. You go over here, right? All right. Uh, the road's closed. Okay. I believe to get to Salon City, you must go somewhere, um, you have to go over here, I believe, I believe, and if I'm wrong, then I'm going to be very mad. There we go. Okay, I just spread that up, because that would, that would have taken way too long. Anyways, um, alright, so am I, uh, am I by Salon City? Where am I? Uh, I'm going to look at my town map. Uh, this is kind of the confusing part. Um, Route 7, alright, so I don't know where I am. Um, yeah, I'm by Celadon, I have to be. Celadon's over here. Celadon City is somewhere. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Yeah, we're here at Celadon City. All right, so I just wasted a potion and a super potion just to find out that, <laughs> just to find out that uh, I'm very, that I, I I pretty much had I had no trainers, you know, until I reached Celadon City. But that's okay. That's totally that's totally fine. Anyways, um, so yeah, there's two things we need to do before I before I end up this video. Uh, well, one of them is actually. Um, I'm actually, while, while I'm here, I'm actually going to go on my PC, and to get into the fourth gym, which I'll be doing in the next part, I'm going to, um, um, I'm going to take out Mr. Jake, my Sandshrew, uh, because you need cut in order to get into the gym, or, I'm not sure if you need cut to get into the gym, but you need, you definitely need cut to, to um, like, you need, like, the gym puzzle requires cut. But uh, anyway, so yeah, the first thing we need to do is you need to go in here. If you guys remember, um, wait, this isn't the place. What am I doing? I'm looking for the department store. That's not the place. Um, here, it, here it is. Here it is. Okay, here is the department store. So if you guys remember, um, if you run into, if you, you run into a bunch of these, you know, route connecting route things, and the guy keeps on saying, "Yo, I'm thirsty." Blah 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 blah. Well, there is a way to solve that. If you um, go to the very top here, there's a vending machine, um, and you, there's, the, there's, um, three things to choose from. Now, I forget if you, I forget what he wants, I think it, okay, uh, I believe he wants a lemonade, but the, there's no more room for stuff, I'll get rid of this HP up on, um, what is the lowest HP? Well, actually, my Mr. Jake has the lowest HP, but Doug Trio actually has the lowest HP, so, yeah, alright, and then I will get rid of, um, let me see. Awakening, I will toss. Actually, we might need the awakening for the gym battle, so. I'll, I'll toss this. Um, and wait, and, and I might use the rare candy. How close is Doug Trio? No. 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 How close is Doug Trio to leveling up? 1070. Okay. I believe Doug Trio is closer than War Turtle. Um, I'm actually going to use a. There's a lot of poison types in the gym, so I think I'm gonna actually. I won't be using War Turtle at all. I can guarantee you that. I'm not gonna be using him at all in the gym, so I might as well use a Rakani on him. Plus, he's closer to you know evolving. So, anyways, so there we go. Um, I'm gonna get a lemonade because I believe that's what you need. Um, and if, if it, and if I don't know, I, I don't think it really matters, but I'm gonna test it out off screen. And if that's not the right item, then I'll come back and I'll get. I'll, I'll grab the other two just so I can, you know, just so the, the guard will let me through either way. Alright, so there we go. We got that done. Now there's one more thing we need to do. Um, alright, I was going to catch my fifth team member. Right, I kind of forgot to do that. And look, it's Polyrath. That looks nothing like a Polyrath. That looks, to be honest, that looks that looks kind of like my War Turtle. See? That looks like, look, these these guys right here all look like Polyrath. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we're going to, okay, I just sped all the way out to this to this route. Um, that wasn't exactly smart. Um, okay, we'll go up. Um, and we'll go up like this, I believe. 
Uh, alright, we'll go inside. There we go. Um, there is something we need to do, and you guys obviously know what I'm doing, since I'm inside this building. I hope you guys know what I'm doing. And, um, we we'll go inside. Um, to talk to this guy. I know everything about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy. Am I really? Well, that's funny, because I'm not even playing on a freaking Game Boy. So what are you talking about there, bro? Oh, I know everything about your Game Boy. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Anyways, what's this? Sweet, Eevee! Okay, alright. Um, no, I do not want to nickname Eevee. No, I don't. Um, uh, anyways, yeah, that... Actually, that's going to be my next team member, Eevee. Um, yeah. It's a level 25, so it's a little bit behind. But, yeah, there we go. It's Eevee, you know, Tackle and Sand Attack. So crappy, 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 crappy moves. But, um, yeah, so there we go. I got myself an Eevee, and that's going to be my next team member. And you can actually evolve it into three different um, Pokemon in this game. Unlike, you know... Um, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, uh, Black, Black and White, and Black 2 and White 2. Uh, you can evolve it into seven different Pokemon, but in this game, only, only three. Um, which would be Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon. So, um, yeah, so I will be, I will obviously be evolving it into one of those three Pokemon if I can find a gym. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I won't be evolving uh, Eevee for quite a while because I want to use them a little bit. And if you evolve, if you evolve Pokemon too early, then that's then they kind of get they kind of they're like they kind like the evolution sucks. When if you evolve it too early, the evolution just yeah. Don't evolve Pokemon too early because that's why I'm waiting to evolve Nidorino and Eevee because I can evolve them right now. Um, because you can actually buy Waterstone. You can actually buy Waterstones, Thunderstones, and, and Firestones at the Mart in Celadon City. But, I'm not going to buy it right now on screen, because you guys will know what EV Evolution I'm going to get. So, And this guy looks like a Team Rocket guy. Let me talk to him. What do you look staring at? You sound like that guy in New, New Bark Town. The guy who's looking into Professor Elm's lab. Except that guy's worse. That, that guy kicks you. Like, that's just... Anyways, I'm talking about a completely different game. So let's just cut this thing down. Um... Jake Jr. cut this thing, cut the tree down, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so, here we are, guys. I have arrived. Soon enough. Where is it? Here it is. It's up here. I have arrived at the gym. The gym gym. This looks exactly like the, um, the Cerulean gym. The one that has gym written on there twice. Anyways, so here's a gym, and who are you? Hee <laughs> hee, this gym is great. It's full of women. Okay. You look about 85. You look like... Holy mackerel, you look... You, you look old enough to be my grandfather. And the girls in this... In the, the girls inside this gym are like five! Maybe not five, but you know, like, holy mackerel, you are... Yeah, they changed his dialogue in Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver. They changed it into in, in saying, this gym is great. It is full of strong trainers. I don't know why they, they made him say that, but... Anyways, I've talked too much. So that's it, guys. I've done everything that I accomplished to do in this part. In the next part, I'm going to take on the Celadon Gym and uh, hopefully get my fourth gym badge. And, and also, um, between, na between now and tomorrow, I'm going to do some training um, on Eevee. I'm going to get Eevee up to like level 30 or something. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks, guys, for watching. I do appreciate it. Please write, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to check out my Facebook fan page. Um, the link will be on the side and in the description. It'll be on the side of my channel and in, this, in the description of this video. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. Please write, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.